Plunging temperatures have brought significant travel disruption across Europe, with dozens of flights cancelled to and from the United Kingdom. People travelling today through Stansted, Gatwick and Heathrow airports are being urged to check for more delays and suspended flights. As Adey Mashiri reports. A snowy European winter may sound romantic. The holiday season feels closer. Landscapes change as rivers tend to ice and the time comes for sleigh rides and the chance to build snowmen. I just heard my sister scream, it's snowing, it's snowing. So I like, looked outside and then I just saw it was actually snowing. So just grabbed, put on everything and went outside to have some fun. But it's not all fun and games. Ice and freezing fog have swept over the United Kingdom. Officials are urging people in southeast England to avoid driving. And it's causing chaos at airports. Heathrow cancelled and delayed dozens of flights this weekend. Gatwick and Stansted Airport cancelled all of them altogether Sunday evening. Some countries, like Poland, are dealing with snowstorms and blizzards. Rescuers are warning visitors to simply stay away. From 1,600 metres above sea level, there is a second-degree avalanche danger. The biggest problem in moving around is primarily the lack of visibility. The fog is very thick, and it's also very difficult for us to assess this avalanche risk. Forecasters warn this weather could go on for days across various parts of Europe. That means more disruptions and biting cold during an energy crisis. All this could make for a costly winter. Azadeh Mashiri, BBC News. Well, London's airports are facing massive disruption. Travel journalist Simon Calder gave me the latest from Heathrow Airport. London is by far the busiest aviation hub in the world, uh, not just here at uh, London Heathrow Airport, but also at Gatwick, Luton, Stansted and London City. And I'm afraid every single one of those airports is suffering extreme problems. We've got round about 80 cancellations in and out of London Heathrow so far. These are all planned for Monday morning because the airport is going to be operating at reduced capacity. Across at Gatwick Airport, second busiest in the UK, we saw masses of flights cancelled yesterday and already today I'm counting round about 50 departures and arrivals, mostly on EasyJet but also on Wizz Air and British Airways. Stansted Airport closed last night as a lot of passengers will know because they've woken up in places such as Brussels and Cologne in Germany, um, having been diverted overnight. It it is now running, but with some cancellations. And then Luton Airport uh, got many, many cancellations in and out of there. I've counted around two dozen. Uh, finally, London City Airport, which is really the business airport um, in the east of uh, the capital. That, well, the schedules are looking pretty bleak there.